guys, so I got asked to do another candy update that I haven't done in forever, so you can see all the freaking candy that's here. Um, yeah, I've gotten a lot of candy, made a lot of candy since then, but I've given away tons of stuff. So I actually have less than I used to have. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go through and we're going to put it in a container as I go because there's so much of it and I will have to have a place to stand to go through it. Um... If I sit down and talk about every single piece, we will be here for days. So, um, obviously a pile of singles, that's all just going to kind of rush through that and stuff. I'm just going to show it to you. Um, I might explain a little bit, but probably not a lot. Um, so let's start with this one. This is a perler bead that I made. Um, it's TGN for Texas Group Nexus. It was a website that my fiancé started that was about... Um, Texas music in general, not just necessarily dance music, but that's where it started from, but it was supposed to be for all bands and stuff. That was a website that I was helping him with uh, before we were actually dating, but um, we, we don't currently have it up because of just uh, life in general happened. So um, hopefully trying to get that back, we're going to revamp it, redo it, but for right now it's just <sighs> offline. Um, then we've I've got three different kinds of star cuffs. It's kind of weird because these are really similar but came from two different people. And then this one that says ginger candy. And then I've got my ladders. This one, here's a 3D ladder. This one was just kind of cool. My fiance actually made this and it was just like random beads that he found on the floor and bits of string. You can tell because they're all different colors. So he just got bored and made that. He really, he's not into candy. He doesn't make a lot of candy. Um, he's into different kinds of crafts and DIY stuff. But um, yeah, anyways. Uh, from Lost, uh, Alphabet, uh, Modified Ladder, another ladder. Hello Kitty, upper arm watch ladder. Another ladder made out of matte beads. This one I got from Shelby. And then these are all the stars that I've gotten from you guys. And then also this Pac-Man with a heart. And I actually put these on a string and they're hanging over my bed except for I moved. So I have to put those back up and some of them have fallen off the string and stuff. But that's what I did with my stars. It was way cool. Um... Let's move on to 3Ds because these are right here. Ugh. Okay. Um, this one, which has got really weird stretchy string. Like, I've never seen that kind of string. It's the ones that are made out of, like, multiple strands. It's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, so there's that one. Then there's this one, which is UFO. And then this one is a Drunken Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cuff. Because the person who made it for me, which was Sin, she was drunk and watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which is where the colors came from. So, it was that 3D. And then, I've got a disc cuff, which is very cute. And this one I made, it was something I was working on, and I realized that I did it wrong from how I wanted to do it. What I was attempting to do was to do um, a regular payout stitch, and then attach it to the herringbone and then go back into payout stitch. But I wanted it to be flat, but how I made it, um, I did the beading wrong. So it just kinda sticks out weird. It almost looks like a bundt cake. Cause it's like bigger on one side and then gets smaller, you kinda see that? Yeah, I don't know, it's weird. I guess if you connected stuff out here, you could make like a cool 3D thing, but I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, this one, which was made for me for uh, my Christmas in July candy party, which was freaking awesome, like epic. And at the same time, I think like I think it was during the same week, I got this one that says ginger candy, and then inside of it, it's got like all different kinds of stuff. Like there's a binky and a ladybug, and like some of the beads. They're, like they're all different colors and stuff. And then you've got the rainbow stars on top. So those came around the same time from two different people, and I just thought it was really weird that they were really similar, but from different people. Uh, another herringbone stitch. Uh, UFO, which I got this from uh, Kaneko Von Texas. It's just ginger, and I made her one like this, but different colors, and it says kitty on it. And then this is matte beads, and 
lost maybe this one. Then another basic 3D. And then this one that I made has magnet letters. It says Plur. has hippie. It was for hippie and I never got to send it to him and I just need to do that and stuff. But Pooh Bear and Eeyore and Rainbow and it looks like a tunnel. So yeah, basic 3Ds connected to a regular cuff. So that's what that is. Um, candy Hair Falls, you guys have seen the tutorial on that. If you haven't, check it out. So, Candy Hair Falls. Um, last 3D. This one, um, this was a boxy cuff, which I'm doing a tutorial on, and I fucked it up. <laughs> so, um, on the top here, these purple beads, like the two ones here and the two ones here, all the way around are actually not supposed to be on there. So, what it's supposed to look like is, you see how it kind of, um, dips in and comes out and then dips back in. It's supposed to be like that and then without these top beads on here it's it sticks out more and it looks way cool and stuff so um gonna show you guys that and it has tri beads in the middle of it and stuff so I will show you how to make that in a tutorial. Okay where am I gonna go from here? <sighs> Let's move on to necklaces. How about that? Actually hold up. I'm just gonna show you my tradables. So, when I trade candy, I put it, um, these are ones that, when I go to parties, I've already promised to people, and I said, hey, I'm going to bring this to you, and these are a trade that I'm giving to somebody else right now, which I'm going to be mailing off pretty soon, so those are staying inside there, and then this is another 3D that I made, so I lied, this is not the last 3D, um, this one I actually made for somebody, and then... They either never showed up to the parties that I was like, hey, we're going to meet up at this party, and then it never happened. So, kind of waiting for somebody to have a 3D to trade me at a party for that. Then this guy, who I got, my friend got me out of a claw machine, which is cool. So I put on a necklace and stuff. Then Finn, which I messed up on because this is the first thing out of pearl beads I made. And then... This necklace that says Plur, but all the letters are made out of pearly beads, and it's on a necklace. Then a doggy, and on there it says, I'm melting. And little glasses, foam beads, all kinds of stuff. Anyways, so those are my tradables. And then, yeah, we're going with necklaces. I'm going to pull these over here. I've got so much candy. Oh my god. So... This one, which is a smile, which I'm actually, I'm supposed to trade with Epic Smiley, but I just never have money, which is why I don't trade, because I'm so broke. But uh, when I did, and I was going to, and then life happens. So this is one, and I cut up a Pokemon and drew on it and stuff, because it was cute. But yeah, so that was one that I was going to make for her and sent to her and it's got smiley faces on all the silver beads and on these beads so it's like epic epic smiles um and then monsters inc and it says pot and monster and foam beads because it's awesome and then this one which i freaking was waiting forever to make um, with a giant bell because I had this bell I had a friend who bought it for me and I had to wait like a year to make this necklace because I wanted the foam beads and I didn't have any and then Cuddle Slut bought them for me for um, I think it was a graduation present I don't think it was birth yeah I think it was a graduation present so I was like oh my gosh I got so excited and I think this was the first one that I made because I was like I can finally make the necklace how I want to because I wanted it to be big and chunky and awesome so yeah that makes me happy. That's one of my favorites. And then there's Pangy. So yeah, this one, which is oh so cute. And then a Binky that I'm so surprised that this still lights up because I've had it since like almost when I started going to parties. So this thing is so old. And the reason it is orange is because I had so many freaking orange beads and I did not know what to do with them. So I just put them on a necklace. Really, honestly, I really don't like binkies anymore because of the 
association with drugs it has and the drug paraphernalia and all that crap. So I tend to stay away from it. I really kind of don't wear them anymore or anything. So yeah, that's just my two cents now. Um, sorry, foot in the way. This says Flamingo. Yes, he is a penguin named Flamingo and he's on a necklace. And again, because I had so many orange beads. And then, where is he? He has a brother, if I can find him. And his brother's name is Toucan. So I've got a penguin named Flamingo and a miniature one named Toucan. So, yeah. Those are awesome. And these are actually given to me by two different people. So I was, like, super, super excited when that happened. And I was like, I have to name them. <laughs> and then I have this one, which was given to me by Hippie. And it says, um, his name is Pedro. And it's a baby toy. And he vibrates. And it's awesome. So, yeah, that's cool. And Hello Kitty keychain on rainbow necklace, given to me by Lost. Then a whistle that says Blow Me, which I got from Zoom Zoom, which was my first uh, anything I got candy from in the mail. And it was amazing and awesome, and I freaking love you, Zoom Zoom. And then star thing, got that from... Um, was Starshine. I'm sorry. This necklace is way cool. I made this necklace and I really like it. And um, what it is, is this was originally a different necklace. It had uh, just a regular string on it, but the clasp on it broke. So I was like, I'm going to put this on candy and it's awesome. It's rainbow. But this is a maze. So you will always be entertained when you are bored, except for it's stuck right now in the. There we go. And it moves. So yeah, that's one of my favorite necklaces also. And this one, this is Mother of Pearl. And so inside here is actually a metal necklace with the candy beads on it. And it's got hearts and stuff. This was given to me by my fiance. Um, it was actually at one of my candy parties. The one, uh, it was at Halloween candy. The one that was at Herman Park because he gave me a bunch of jewelry making stuff. This was before we were dating. And, um, because he makes, like, high-end, nice wire wrap jewelry and stuff that, um, all uses, like, uh, semi-precious stones. So he gave me a lot of cool, like, all different kinds of beading stuff. Uh, which is how I got into other different kinds of jewelry making. Uh, peace sign heart. Um, 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 um this one. Which, this smells really good. It's a dog toy, and I don't know, but it smells delicious. It's, it's awesome. It's, um, I got this from Lost, and it says, This is your brain on drugs. And then it's got, like, hearts and elephants and dolphins and foam beads and smiley faces and all kinds of random things. And it's way cool. And I don't know what it is, but all of Lost's candy smells amazing. Then, turtle. Uh, more necklaces. <laughs> uh, we got Oreos. We got little mousy bunny things that are cute. Um, ties. Uh, whee! 3D penguin. Um, dance dance spinda plur. Uh, rainbow mat. Uh, smiley face thingy. Uh, Cuddle Slut Loves Ginger Candy. And that I got at my Christmas uh, in July party. Another binky. This is ginger and it's all glow in the dark. Um, Love Step. Got that from Carla at Love Step. Candy Pimp. Because uh, I went to a party and that's what someone called me. They were like, Candy Pimp! And I was like, Heck yeah, so it's become a secondary title for me. <laughs> this is uh, Choo Choo Train Beads, and they're squishy. And I got that from Nympho. Um, Radical Audio Visual Experience, which took up all my letter beads. I should not have ever made that necklace. 
that one which had something on it which came off this was this um was not originally made as candy the person who made this for me and when i got it was uh long long time before um i ever was into candy made it uh she made it for me as a a friendship bracelet like a friendship necklace and she was just like I want to give this to you it was actually um had yarn on it but then I wore it so much that I would just put a regular chain on it and uh so I guess in some aspects this could be considered uh, my first piece of candy but it really I don't consider it candy candy because it wasn't something that I got with that intention in it I guess but yeah, so there's that one and this necklace. And I know I really have to speed this up because this is probably a really long fucking ass video and you probably don't want to sit here forever. So let's move on to some interesting stuff, some big stuff. Okay, so we've got cuffs here. And this is um, one of Lost Lost's creations. Um, I forgot what he called this, but he, it was a Lost candy cuff, I guess, or something like that. Um, and so that was his thing, which is awesome. Kirby, which is actually my fiance's, because I gave it to him at a party, but now he lives with me, so it's kind of in the community candy pool. <laughs> and then more colored cuffs and various assortments that I have acquired. Um, and some of them I have made. But most of them were given to me. Uh. And then this one. This one is one that I am working on a tutorial for you guys. This is a right angle weave cuff. And what a right angle weave does is it causes some of the, the um, beads to be the usual way. And then some of the beads to run the other direction. So you've got ones running vertical and runs ra running horizontal. I don't know if you can really see that, but that one is sideways. Because that's where you really... This light sucks, but if you can kind of tell. They're running two different directions. So one's up, and then other ones are this way. But I made these with mini pony beads, and it will be easier to see when I do it with something else. <sighs> okay, more cups. This one. And uh, plur, and that one, and so there's going behind me. Do do do, and then my uh, candy bikini, which I still need to fix. Oh my gosh, this is like the third thing, I, the third time I have revised and made this thing, and it still doesn't fit right because before it was way too thin here. So it would have issues. And now, because I put the heart in the middle, it's way too wide here. It needs to come in, like, closer. So I have to freaking remake this and cut down, like, a couple rows. And it's going to be a pain in the butt. But on the back of it, it actually says, Ginger! So I thought that was a cool touch. <sighs> and then a whistle necklace and an earring that I made that shouldn't be in here. Um... <laughs> uh, and this is something that I have not shown you guys, which is way cool that I made. It is, uh, if you guys have ever played, uh, blah, 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 um, Zelda, the Ocarina of Time, you will know who this is. This is Navi, and I made it so it changes colors. So, that was awesome. And there's the wings. And I ran out of the blue color on the bottom, so it's actually clear, but you can't tell when the light's on, so that's okay. And there's the wings. So I made this for uh, Return to Hyrule, which is a Zelda rave that I helped with. And then you guys have seen the 3D pony. So this is Fluttershy. And it's really shitty. Um, but yeah. Because I looked at a picture that someone else had made. And they used an entirely different beading technique than I did. <laughs> so I just kind of made that up as I went. And then, you guys know Icebox, and he's totally beaten up. He's my transgender penguin, because I didn't realize until after I had made a bikini on him that he was a guy. And 
So, yeah, that's just what happened. And he's got a zipper, and I made him from a stuffed animal, and he's got purple stripe straps and fishies that say nom 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 because penguins like fish. And yeah, so that was the first, no, that was the second backpack that I ever made. Um, I had a friend who was into Anita Blake, also like I am, so she made me a penguin. Like, she made this from scratch, like, sewed it together and everything, and it is awesome. And it says Sigmund on it because the main character has a awesome stuffed animal penguin named Sigmund. So, that was way cool. Um, and then I has Oopsie, which I actually got at one of my, um, what was it, the, uh, candy parties. And, yeah, so he is very cute and got a ginormous head. Um, this is my candy purse, which I'm still in the process of making, obviously, because there is a ribbon on here instead of a strap um and i'm remaking this i have to use different string because i used fishing line for it and it won't stay there's supposed to be like little fringes on it so i'm gonna have to go back and use different string for that but it's gonna look really cool when i'm done but obviously penguin i took the pattern and modified it from a thing on candy patterns and then on the back of it i made this one um it says nom 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 and it's got a fishy with a heart because penguins like fish obviously it's um, just a button with a piece of elastic on it. And then you can see all the crap and stuff in my purse. Um, and yeah. Um, here we go. My trophy, which has got uh, Sweetie Belle, which is my favorite pony in it. And this one says Ginger Candy's number one to the most hardcore. And it says on here the best. And Hippie made me this one because I had never gotten a trophy before and I told him that and he was like, you deserve a trophy. So he made me one, which was pretty freaking awesome. Like, that was just epic all around. Um, burglar slash superhero mask, which I'm doing a tutorial for very soon. I just need to get off my butt and do it. <laughs> uh, school just got back in session, so I'm kind of running around with a, like a chicken with its head cut off right now trying to get stuff done um this is what was it um we did a party called super disco brothers which was mario brothers themed so i dressed up like peach and i made myself a candy crown out of the stars which i thought was way cool and then a mask KK, which was supposed to be for some guys in Arizona that, uh, I guess Candy Clan, that he asked me to make it for him, and then I kind of never heard back from the dude, and I don't even know. But, yeah, so it's kind of cool. Um, and then I've got a bunch of bows with hair clips on them and stuff. And then this one, which came on a chain, which is really pretty. And the only thing left is mountain of singles which I gotta move all this to get over to oh and a top hat of course and so we've got like teddy bears and different thingies that say stuff and mountains of beads and lollipops and moons and cubes and piggies and foam beads and dice and and this and I've got domo and dinosaurs and uh game boys and spoons and cameras and all kinds of Duh. But yeah, so that is all of my candy and my candy collection and stuff as of so far. And again, like I, I haven't gotten that much new stuff since the last time I've made videos and so much of the stuff that I have made has just been given away and really almost now, like I just almost don't even ask people for stuff because I have so much candy and I 
I never have like an opportunity to wear all of this stuff as much as I would like. Like I've got every day where I can wear candy, but it's like I I almost feel bad that like I wear some candy more than others because I feel like they should all get an equal opportunity because they are all beautiful, you know? <laughs> So, um, I just give so much stuff away. I'm just like, take it from me. I have so much. Of course, I never give away things that are given to me, obviously, but stuff that I make. Um, but, yeah, um, maybe I'll, maybe when I get more financially stable and I have, uh, some spending cash, when I make tutorials and stuff, I'll just send you guys, I don't know, have like a, you leave a comment and have a random number generator and pick a person and send them candy or something. I don't know. I'll just figure it out. Um, but yeah, so much stuff. Uh, and I will talk to you guys later and I love you. Comment, rate, subscribe, and bye.